So Rail and Consumer offers the ability to have retries. So let's look at, at the following use case. We want to guarantee the successful completion of our business logic operation here. So we're looking at the Wix payment service. It wants, uh, it me, this Wix payment service allows for processing of payments from the site visitors to our site owners, our Wix users. So we have the job scheduler that some requires uh, subscription renewal. So some of our site visitors have a monthly subscription or something like that for payments. And sometimes this subscription needs to be renewed. So the job scheduler sends over to the Wix payment service a renewal request. And the first thing that the service will do, it will produce the message over to Kafka in order to know that it will not go away. And the next step is to consume it, Wix payment service itself. And it will specify that it wants to retry in case there's some business error. So the job scheduler can forget about this uh, job because it knows it's already in Kafka and it will be consumed and it doesn't have to worry about it anymore. So that's a very powerful thing. And how do we set it up? So basically we'll introduce a retry policy and set up the intervals between retries. Uh, one second, then if it still fails after 10 minutes and you can add more. And if after a long time it still doesn't process, you can put it in a dead letter topic and then review it manually and decide what you want to do with it, re reintroduce it or not. And then with our famous builder that we saw earlier, we just add this uh, retry policy and we get it automatically. And behind the scenes, the grand consumer, in case of failure, has a retry producer in the consumer itself. And when we introduce the retry policy in code, it means that we'll have created retry topics in Kafka. So for each interval, we'll have a separate retry topic. And the producer will produce the, the message upon error for the first retry topic. And if it fails, the producer will then produce it to the second retry topic. And using retry topics was inspired by Uber that have a very similar solution. So we'll have as many retry topics as intervals that we chose. It means that we can have quite a lot of topics and partitions. Basically with Kafka, the recommended amount of partitions per single broker is up to 4,000, which means you can get, end up with quite a lot of brokers. Um, one thing you can mitigate this with is to just have one partition per retry topic because statistically you will have much less processing usually of errors and you don't have to have the full partition amount for the original topic. There are other ways to implement retries with Kafka. I don't want to get into it, but there are trade-offs in any case. Um, no solution here is the bulletproof. And one last point about uh, retry topics, you'll get out of order processing. Why? Because once you put the message in a retry topic, the next message in the original topic may succeed, and then it means that you have out of order processing. So what if you have a use case, like the use case here, that really wants to have sequential processing and never get out of order? And here we have the build log service that puts all kind of metadata information about our build situation in order for other services to consume. And uh, it consumes uh, updates from GitHub from the source control update topic. And it mustn't uh, process this out of order because then there'll be some corruption in the state. So with Greyhound Consumer, you just specify a blocking policy, which means that the same message upon processing error will retry. Now, what happens if you keep blocking on the same message? You can introduce a lag, meaning that the producer keeps producing messages and higher and higher offsets, but the consumer is way back and a lag is building up. So in that case, 
we have an alert and a dashboard for each of our services automatically. So the developer of the service can go to this uh, dashboard, view the message that uh, failed, and then decide if they want to release the message because it's not really an interesting error, and then the lag will be reduced, or they notice there's a bug. And so all they have to do at, at that point is to go and fix the bug, deploy their service again, and because we know with Kafka, it will just get the, it will reprocess the same message because it's the first one that was not committed yet. And hopefully, the bug was really fixed and the messages will be uh, consumed again, finished processing uh, successfully, and the lag will go away.